Today, I'm going to answer the question, why does God allow the narcissist? Hi, I'm Nanette. Welcome back to Narcissism Exposed. So basically, I got a viewer who left a comment and she left a rather lengthy question asking, why does God allow the narcissist to do what he or she does? So today, I'm going to read that comment to you. Then I'm going to share a little two point, very critical two point factors that you need to know before I read to you my response. So here it goes. So she says, if God sees it all, and I know he does, why does God allow the narcissist to keep getting away with what they do? Why does God allow them to destroy so many lives, even to the point where some victims lose their lives to those narcissists by either sickness or murder or suicide? Now, I'm guessing there are a few of you out there who may have thought that very question yourself. Or maybe you know other people who have had that question and you simply don't know how to answer it. Well, there's two very important factors, very critical factors that I'm going to share with you now that you need to know in order to understand the answer I'm going to present to you. And the first one is that this present day and time, this current world that we live in is known biblically as man's day. So that means God's wrath, his justice, his vengeance is for a future time, a future time frame, a future phase. Number two, what we need to understand is that in this man's day, God gave each one of us, from little children to adults, male, female, freedom of will. That's right. Freedom of will to choose good or evil. You and I have chosen to do good. However, the narcissist has chosen evil. So I want to make sure that you got those two factors before I share with you my answer. So here it goes. The enemy, AKA the devil, is so angry with you and me and anyone who is born again and has Christ in them. When the devil looks at us, he is reminded of his failure to destroy our precious Christ Jesus and that he failed at thwarting God's perfect plan of redemption. So this is the reason you are being targeted, being attacked, and are on the devil's hit list. You are being attacked because of who you are. You are a child of the Most High God. And this is why the enemy has tried to silence you, challenge you, frustrate you, and make you feel hopeless and get you to blame God Almighty because Satan is the great accuser. That's right. The devil wants you to feel exactly how you just described. Satan wants you to feel defeated and helpless and to point your finger at our precious God and Father. The devil wants you to abdicate who you are. He wants you to feel powerless and forget who you belong to, which is God Almighty. And the devil works day and night on you, me, and anyone else he is threatened by. God's word says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. How are they destroyed? Lack of knowledge. God has fully equipped you according to Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 through 18. And God says that greater is the Christ in you than the devil spirits in the world. The devil spirits tremble at the name of God and they tremble every time they look at you. The devil hates you, but God Almighty loves you. God made you victorious. You are the victor. Now, some of you may be asking, well, how did God arm us? What do I use to fight in this battle with the devil who's influencing the narcissist? Well, I mentioned Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18, which I'm going to read to you right now. And it says, 
Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. So that is how you arm yourself is with the word of God. And that word of God is called the sword of the spirit. That's right. Your powerful sword, of the spirit. And remember that that Holy Spirit in you is greater than the devil spirits out in the world that are influencing the narcissist to do evil, to steal, kill, destroy you, your very life. And as you put on more of God's word and understand it to where you can walk in wisdom and understanding, you will grow in your power of discernment so that moving forward, so you are not taken by those wolves in sheep's clothes. Look, the primary purpose of my channel and of these videos is to help God's people power up with the mighty word of God so that you can walk and manifest being victorious in this spiritual battle that we're in. And I want to encourage all of you to continue to grow in God's word and to truly understand what is really going on in the back end, who your enemy is, which is the devil, and how he tries to do his threefold mission, which it says in John 10:10, 10, 10, the thief comes not before to steal, kill, and destroy, but I am come, says Jesus Christ, that you may have life and have it more abundantly. So allow God's word to be your armor and to walk in wisdom and understanding. And as always, leave your comments down below. And if you have any verses, Bible verses you want to share or prayer requests, leave those down below as well. And no, I love you and pray for you each and every day. Now, if you found this helpful, do hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I put out a video. And until next time, walk in peace and be blessed in your hearts.